Okay, I'm back again with Star Fun. And the question you guys had for Monique was, what's next for her? Um, I, I really didn't feel a lot of emotions. <laughs> I didn't have a lot of feeling. I just felt like she was on a tour. She's still on this tour. Um, man, I, I wonder if this is something she's supposed to be doing or not. But basically everything that she's been doing, she's still on that tour. She's still on there. And um, she's not finished yet. She has more things to talk about, to expose. She has more things that she will be breaking down, tearing down. Um, causing earthquakes, maybe, um, but she's not finished. What's next for her is the same of what you've been seeing. Um, I feel like she was on a love test because I feel like once she's done with this tour of this, um, these speeches, these, um, I don't know, I don't want to say behavior. I don't feel a lot of behavior. When she get through with this tour, and I just heard, I heard yell, yell, Y-E-L-L. Yeah. So when she get through speaking this round and then she'll be moving towards some more work or some more forgiveness, it's definitely a love test that she's on. But yeah, we have a repeat of the same thing. The same thing. But the whole purpose of it is so that she can learn and understand um, love. She's on a love test. And believe it or not, everything that she's experiencing is teaching her how to love. I don't believe she started the work, the action work of the love part. Right now, she's still releasing. So that's what will be happening. She's going to continue to release. It makes her unstable. It definitely does that. Um, she's steady going to break up the foundations of things that has been planted. Um, she's uprooting things. Um, there's not a new start and a new beginning for her <clears throat> as of yet because she's still on this world tour of speaking, speaking out loud. I just don't know if she's supposed to be doing it or not, but it's happening. Um, she's internalizing and going in uh, to to find the next thing <laughs> to break up. She's actually purposely doing that. This is her purpose um, that she's doing. She's clear about what she's doing. She's not um, lost in any kind of way, um, but I do feel that She's not being emotionally honest on why she's doing it. And that's what makes me wonder, is this something she's supposed to be doing? Because there's um, she, there's a lack in emotions. That's why she's got to double back. So this is the second tour she'll be doing this. And then after that, I would think, I believe, that she will have to double back. Because she left out a lot of emotions. And um, that's the part that, that's affecting her, if that makes any sense. Um, yeah. It almost feels like she's doing this without even noticing that she's emotionally disconnected. She done made so many changes, y'all. I know y'all know that, but this change has happened already. She has, she's changed. She's a different person. She she's not the person that she used to be, and I don't think she desires to be that person. She's totally changed. Um, she's emotionally disconnected at times from what she's doing. Um, but although all these changes have been made in her life, and I know that she's broken up a lot of things and tore down a lot of things just by with her words and exposure of things that's happening, um, it's all about love. I promise you it is. <laughs> 
the action will be towards love. Okay? I know that don't make sense. I'm going to do a summary. Let me tell you why I'm having such a struggle. Because I think she's hurting herself in the process. I feel like heartburn and pain. I feel like physical pain. And I feel um, emotional disconnect and the disturbance. And that's what's bothering me right now about this. And it, it, it's hurting her to do this. But she's doing it. And she is purposely doing it. She has to do it. She feels that she has to. She's sure that she has to continue to um, bring some enlightenment on the things that's broken. Okay, so here we go. Back to your question that you asked. What's next for Monique? What's next for her is she'll be doing the same thing that she's been doing lately. She'll be on her next tour, as I like to call it. So she's on her next world tour. Uh, she says, or she feels that is to offer love. That's what her agenda is. Um, she'll be breaking up more things. She'll be breaking up more foundations. Any stony rock, she'll be tearing that apart. She's going in deep. Um, with revelation and she's going to enlighten us continuously on these things that's um, broken she's she's dealing with she's not dealing with the things that's solid she's dealing with things that's broken and you know that has to take a, a toll on her as well um, it won't be nothing new it'll be the same thing no new beginning it's nothing new it's the same thing she's clear about it uh, however um She's stealing away from herself. She's stealing from herself. She's taking her own emotions away. This work is coming at a cost. However, with all the changes that's being made in her and around people and the people that she's speaking about, uh, she will double back. And her next um, agenda will be about love for real. Because she said that she's doing this for love and passion, but... I don't feel it. I don't feel the emotions. This is a numb two world tour. She didn't did it numb. It's a numbness. The speech is great, but the truth is, it's numb. And that's the issue. So when she's done, she'll come back and deal with the numb parts of her. And then she'll start this again and she'll double back and she'll take action in true love and unconditional love. The love that has empathy, sympathy, and um, it has mercy and understanding. She will come back with that pure love um, right now. Right now, she's just passionate about um, dealing with the unbalanced natures and the broken places. Um, but um, she'll be on this thing for a ride. A ride. I just heard a ride. I wanted to say for a while. Yeah, probably for like the next seven years. But the purpose that I don't think she know, or maybe she do know, is so that she can understand what unconditional love is. I see a love tour coming. Why is I'm whispering? Because that's what she do. She whispers. She talks within herself. And find out what she want to cut the light on next. Disconnecting displacement from her feelings. Focusing on the places that are broken. The things that has been split and torn. She is um, bringing things to light. Yeah, but she's definitely working on her. She's doing a job on herself in the process. I'm serious about that. She's doing a job on herself. She's um she's paying for each word that she speaks. Every word that she speaks, she's paying with her <laughs> with the heart. This hurts her heart to be this honest. Okay?
but the work is not done. We'll be, she'll be at, we, we, we will be at this with her. She'll be doing this for a while, probably looking at another seven years, another whole cycle. And then she'll be doubling back, um, in action. And that, um, that title will be called unconditional love. That one will have feelings. It will be totally different. Okay. So it looks like she got to get this out. At least that's what she say. Okay. Unconditional love is coming soon. So that's your answer. If you want to know what's coming next, one more tour of this behavior and um, speech. And then she'll be coming back with the ultimate unconditional love. Okay. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.